So, Infinix is on a roll this year and they've been releasing quite a number of phones. First they came out with the Note 7, then the 08, now I have the Note 8 here in my hands. And this video is my unboxing and initial impression on this device. Is it any better over the Note 7 that was released initially? I particularly like the aspect ratio of the Note 7, but let's see if the Note 8 compares and is any better than that phone was. First off, let's see what we have in the box. When you open it up, you're greeted with the smartphone. Let's take out the sticker on the front and the back. This is the deep sea luster color with a really nice looking pattern on the back of the device. And I like the way this looks. We have a customer service card, an envelope that houses the same ejection tool, a film screen protector, a couple of leaflets, and a soft plastic case that got some texture on the inside. Let's see how well this case fits. In the bottom compartment, we have an 18 watt fast charger, an orange accented USB-C cable, and a pair of earphones. On the front, you have a 6.95 inch HD plus IPS LCD display with a 20.5 by nine aspect ratio, making this a really tall phone. At the top of the display, you have a double hole punch out that houses your selfie cameras and you also have dual flash at the top of the device and also an earpiece grill. One of the flash LED also serves as charging indicator. On the back of the device you have a 64 megapixel AI quad camera setup with quad flash LED in a ring format. On the left you have a 3-in-1 tray that houses two 4G LTE nano SIMs and an SD card. On the right you have a volume rocker and a recessed power button that also serves as the fingerprint scanner. On the top you have absolutely nothing, on the bottom you have a microphone, a 3.5mm headphone jack, a USB-C port and speaker grills. About the design, the Infinix Note 8 spots the new wide camera layout which gives it a modern look and the camera bump is also really tiny, almost non-existent. The back and the frame of the device is made from plastic and this pattern you see on the back here in reality is just a paint job so it's a smooth surface all around. This phone is ginormous. It looks big and has a heft to it and it's really very tall. I have quite big hands but with this phone I'm only able to get to the middle of the phone at any point. The long but narrow aspect ratio also makes it easy to reach the left and right edges of the device but make no mistakes this phone isn't convenient for one handed use at all. For size comparison, this phone is taller and slightly narrower than the Infinix Note 7 which was already a very big phone. Well, I guess it has to live up to the Note's moniker. On the front, the dual punch hole display is actually pretty bright outdoors with good viewing angles. Some people hate the punch hole design, but I think it looks good. The bezels and the chain aren't super thin, they're pretty similar to what we got on the Infinix Note 7. Those flashlights up front aren't for notifications, but one of it does show dimly when a charger is plugged in. This display has an aspect ratio that's ideal for watching movie but it's a 720p display and YouTube videos will be capped at 720p. My review unit comes with 128 gigs of storage and 6 gigs of RAM. You get about 112 gigs of available storage out of the box. There are other storage variants that may not be available depending on your region. We're running Android 10 with XOS Dolphin version 7.1.0 slapped on top of it and it still has the Infinix ton of bloatware, some of which you cannot uninstall. The Note 8 uses the MediaTek Helio G80 gaming focused octa-core CPU clocked at 1.8GHz and this is a big jump over the Note 7 which had a Helio G70 chip. Some of you who bought the Note 7 may be angry with Infinix for this move. It's been just 5 months and there's already a new Note with better specifications. Anyway, in terms of performance, I'd say it generally feels faster than the Note 7 did and it doesn't slow down with multitasking either. It handles your everyday calls, text, messaging and social media apps with ease and it's also great for intense mobile gaming if you're into that. The fingerprint sensor is very fast in terms of unlocking speeds and accuracy and is at a very comfortable position. The face unlock however isn't that fast but has very manageable speeds. It actually unlocks in almost every type of lighting but may struggle a bit in a dark environment. When it comes to gaming, I played Call of Duty and Asphalt 9 and the phone handled them like a champ. I also found it very comfortable to play on this phone due to that long aspect ratio.
Infinix Note 8 is powered by a hefty 5200 mAh battery. Now, paired with a 720p screen, you're getting stellar battery life and this gave me well over 8 hours of screen on time every single day of heavy use. There's no doubt that this battery will last the average person well over a day, no matter what you do on it. So it's safe to file this phone under our battery champ category. It takes just over two hours to charge from zero to 100%, which is bearable and thanks to the included 18 watt fast charger. The good thing is you only get to charge this phone every other day. The Note 8's camera interface is pretty simple. We have the super night mode and other simple modes as well, but you don't get slow motion and pro mode here. But there's a new feature in the camera setting for eye autofocus, which should help keep the subject in focus by tracking their eye. Using it outdoors, we get good dynamic range and skin tones are quite decent. The results from the 64 megapixel primary camera actually were very impressive and could actually pass for flagship quality when you post those pictures on social media. With portrait mode, however, the depth sensing is above average. It has very good background blur, but you need very steady hands to get great shots. The selfie camera's outdoor is actually pretty good. Yeah, the skin tone is a bit lighter than what it is in real life, but there's no overexposure here and it's quite detailed. The Infinix Note 8 is a mid-range tablet that really caters to those who want a really big phone and one that handles everyday tasks seamlessly. This phone will be particularly good for young people who are power-hungry users and who are gaming and media aficionados. The 5200mAh battery is more than enough for hours of gameplay and movie watching. And if you're just a casual user, then you're in for an amazing battery life using the Note 8. So that was my unboxing and initial impressions on the Infinix Note 8. I felt like it was a good phone for those of you who are looking for an affordable gaming centric phone the infinix note 8 is something you should definitely take a look at i feel like the build quality and the overall form factor of this phone is really good again if you have any questions on the infinix note 8 do leave them down in the comment section of this video and i'll get back to as much of them as i can thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace